Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Faye. Welcome if you're new. Y'all, I just, I told y'all from now on, I'm starting all my video, all my videos of super grateful and just telling you guys exactly how I feel and I'm telling you now, y'all keep me going. Y'all keep me going. I'm telling you, y'all really do keep me going. So, um, I... I, I'm being very discreet about a lot of things in my life right now because I just, I always want to be the type of content creator that give you enough and be 100% real with you, but still keeping some things sacred. So me coming on here and being vulnerable with you guys and letting you know that ish ain't all good, I feel like that's me being my authentic self. You know what I'm saying? So... Y'all, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to try my hardest to do this video and not shed a single tear. So, bear with me. First and foremost, let me just say shout out to my son. It's 2.14. It's Saturday. Y'all might see this video tomorrow. Inshallah, y'all might see this video tomorrow. So, my son, he's working at a restaurant. And um, he, um, he texted me. Well, last night I took a Benadryl. I took two Benadryl last night and I went to sleep super early, right? So this morning I woke up to a text from my son. I was looking at my phone and I saw that my son had texted me and was like, do you want some wings? And I responded, yeah. And I'm like, I don't remember texting my son back or whatever, but I don't know. So my husband called me. He was like cracking up. He was like, babe, did you see that text from Ellie about the wings? I'm like, did you text him back or did I text him back? He was like, babe, you text him back. You text him back. And it, it had to be like one something in the morning, I think. Yeah, it was like 1.27 a.m. And I don't think I texted him. I think my husband texted him back and was like, yeah, bring them wings. Good looking or whatever. So my son is working at a restaurant now and he um brought me some wings yeah i don't know if y'all can see them but the, the first time i had the wings they were so good and i i was like yeah you know i i be wanting them but i also see that he brought this um he brought some shrimp tacos oh my gosh y'all and i don't even know what this is but i know i'm gonna eat it i know i'm gonna eat it like i don't even know what it is so I'm so happy that he brought me this food because I'm hungry. It's 2.15 and I haven't done anything yet. So, like I was saying, I just want to always be, like, super transparent and let you guys know that when I'm not okay, I'm not okay. And just get your, like, sincere prayers and everything because I feel like me as a person, I'm the type of person that will shut, shut down. Like, I'll... Wait a minute. And the reason why I'm not... Hold up. <laughs> I'm so silly. That's one thing about me. So the reason why I would never cry on camera is because I'm an ugly crier. I'm an ugly crier. So what I was saying is that I started to not do the video. I was like, I'm not going to do the video I'm just going to take some time off or whatever. But I noticed that to be a pattern for me when things get super hard. And I'm all for giving myself time. Wait a minute, girl. I'm back. I'm back. So I'm all for giving myself time to heal and being strong and stuff like that but i feel like if i stop i'll just i'll just stop and that's because you know like i don't think people understand how real depression is or how depression works So I feel like when things happen in my life, it's harder for me to 
like bounce back. It's just, it's harder for me to just like bounce back. Cause I be feeling like everybody else is doing better than what I'm doing in terms of how they're healing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I'm going to post this. I'm. It's like, if I don't post it, I don't even know how else to record. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm having a creator block right now. I don't, I just don't even know how else to move forward without just, making this a part of my journey you know what i'm saying so it's like i feel like i need to do this in order to go on and continue my journey i need to make this video so the reason why i don't want to just say i'm taking time off is because it's not it wouldn't be just me taking time off from youtube if I felt like I wanted to go into a shell, it wouldn't just be me taking time off from YouTube. It would be me shutting down and taking time off from everything. And I don't want that for me. Like, I feel like I don't even feel like cleaning up. But it's like, I have to clean up. You know what I'm saying? Whereas so normally... If I'm getting ready to really go in and clean up, I'm going to record myself cleaning up because that's a part of my content. And it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to clean up. I don't want to record myself. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And I don't want to put myself into a depression. I don't want to put myself into a depression. And if I stop doing the things that I love to do, then that's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to put myself into a depression. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get up, you know, my mom and my family, they're all like drawn together right now. And I just was like, I, I couldn't be in the environment that everyone else was in. So another thing for me, I feel as though, you know, I don't want to suppress my tears. I don't want to not cry i don't want to not feel what i'm going on i want to feel everything that i'm going on that's going on with me and i want to like i want to feel it at that moment and then the next moment if i'm laughing i want to be able to do that you know you understand what i'm saying so it's like i don't want to not feel what i'm going through and then laugh to keep from crying i want to cry and then laugh if that makes sense i don't know i don't know if that makes sense to y'all but to me it makes sense and i feel like i wouldn't be doing a justice to my mom or my daughter if i just shut down and stop doing things because the same way they are my strength i'm their strength so they need to see that regardless of what we have going on and what we're facing in our lives is the only thing that we can do is move forward, right? That's all we can do. So I know like some of my family members, they watch my videos and stuff like that. And they're going to see this and they're going to be like, oh, fey, 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 you know, but the only thing we can do, y'all, is just move forward. That's, that's the only way that I see things getting better and that's with anything in life so it's like even as a content creator i just don't want to always i don't know i just don't want to not record because i'm going through this deep dark place in my life because if i do that I, i'm telling you i'll just quit i'll just quit you know i'm i'm a quitter I'm a person that gives up easily on things or give up easily on people. And I don't even know if that's the best way to be sometimes. But I, I know that is for a protection for me, you know, to try to keep myself safe or whatever. But I don't want to do that in this situation. So I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to get through what I'm going through and still be 
myself and be some kind of light to y'all and try to inspire people in some type of way if that makes sense so you see me here you see me being super vulnerable you know that i'm going through something it's family related i want your prayers i need your prayers but you also see me being resilient and i'm trying to move forward so i didn't think i would be able to clean up today but i'm getting ready to clean up i'm going to clean up and i'm going to bring y'all along with me wow i clean up now is it gonna be a deep clean i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be a deep clean but i know i need to change my sheets and stuff like that so that's what we got going on so your treasure has a bad habit of when she takes her sheet off her bed she'll just like she'll probably put the blanket in and then she'll just leave everything here And it's so annoying because I feel as though like every time when I come downstairs to do laundry, it's already laundry. I'm surprised there's nothing in the dryer. But every time I come down here to do laundry, it's always laundry in here. Like this stuff. Oh my God. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. So I believe my son just changed his sheets and his remote is in here. It's in his sheet. But he's another one. He'll take his stuff off his bed and just put it on the floor. Like, why? And then if he can't find the remote, he's going to be like, Mom, where's my remote? Mom, where's my remote? It was in your dog on sheet. And I, y'all, when I tell you this is not made up, I'm, I'm telling you, the, I just picked this up and felt his remote in there. I'm, I, this is so not made up. It's so not made up. And I'm so irked because if he can't find the remote to his TV, he'll take the remote from the living room and just use it down here child i'm done but you know what i would i wouldn't trade them for the world i wouldn't trade them for the world y'all guess what i'm trying to start doing my videos to the point where i'm like not doing a whole lot of editing in them so like whatever clips i got that's the clips that i'm posting I don't know. I wanna, I'm excited to see how it is. I think it'll be less work for me. So I'm excited to see how this works out or whatever. But I'm putting my first load of clothes in the wash. And it's just like that. So I... Upstairs. I don't know. Oh, and look at me, y'all. Today, I don't know. Y'all. Today is the day. I feel so bad because we don't have any cat food for Tootie, and it's not like she didn't eat in a long time. But the way she act, you would think she didn't eat in a long time. So, I'm getting ready to pray real fast. And then I think I'm going to go and start working on my bedroom since I put my first load in. But, yeah, that's what I'm about to do, y'all. Y'all, I don't know about y'all, but there's no better feeling than praying and crying at the same time. Like, when you do that... And you're talking to your Lord and you're like crying and praying. It's like when you come up from prayer, you feel like a little bit, you feel a little bit of the pain go away each time. Like every time I'm praying and then I come up or every time I'm talking to my mom and we on the phone you know and we have our little moments or whatever it's like each time i feel like it's healing like i'm i'm being healed more and more each time so i don't know it's like all of this stuff is still like it's still kind of early you know so it's like i know that i'm going to be okay 
it's just like when <laughs> that's the thing it's like i know i'm gonna be okay because i'm always okay but it's like when so i don't know i'm not i'm not changing this thing i'm not changing this new daddy like i don't feel like that you know what i mean like when other people depress y'all let they rooms get super dirty and y'all don't say nothing to them so i'm not changing that duvet y'all gonna have to bear with me but at least i'm doing this at least i'm changing the sheets and stuff like that you know i'm gonna vacuum and i'm washing the clothes that's probably gonna be the gist of it but I feel like norm like I need to go I don't know I feel like I need to like go shopping or something just to just to like make me feel a little bit better I know I definitely need like new sheets because a lot of times I feel like the thread count of my sheets is off like believe it or not this this sheet set right here and the one that i took off they work so good but they had patterns on there so i normally do like to have like the white linen on there or whatever but all of my white sheets are like feel too cheap they don't feel good to sleep on so i'm putting this one on and i think being as though i'm trying to be like more intentional with my spending and stuff like that i think i'm going to buy me some good bed sheets and that'll be something that i could treat myself to i see a lot of the um the youtube girls and they like that that brand called brook linen i think that's the brand but i think it's like real expensive though <sighs> so i don't know if i'm gonna be getting that but i did hear that was a good brand So lately, y'all, I've been going live a lot. I've been going live and it's so crazy because I never thought that it would be so therapeutic for me going live. It's like I'm talking to my best friends on the phone. You know, y'all keep me laughing. Even when people spam the comment section or... They say something crazy in my comment section. I'm like, yo, this was, I needed that. It was fun or whatever. So, I, and then another thing too, like, I'm always trying to talk to my subscribers on live, like the people that I don't know as much, but it's like the main people that come on are like my friends, you know? But I would like for y'all to come on my lives too and talk to me sometimes. Sometimes I'll be like, sometimes I'll ask questions. Like what type of content do you favor more? Or, you know, we have a lot of different type of chats on here. But I feel like it's always more so my friends, people that I call my friends than, you know, just like people who I don't hear from all the time. And I would like for y'all to join. I would love for you guys to join me on live. I feel like the day is going to be such a fast cleaning day for me. Because I'm just trying to do the bare minimum. Like, I'm not trying to go all crazy. That's it. I just want to do the bare minimum. And I'm going to say about... I'm going to say about 8-ish. I'm going in with this. Because I need my rest. I need my rest, you guys. So, like, I do take um anxiety meds. And they help me sleep. But 
I just like, I feel like right now I need something that's gonna make me drowsy. Cause my medicine, it don't make me, um, it don't make me drowsy. It just like helps me sleep better or whatever. But like I said, I'm trying to, I'm trying to feel a buzz. And me and my mom was just, hold up y'all, let me come over here. I gotta come over here and say this to your face. So, me and my mom, we were just talking about this because you see how I said, like, I need to fill a buzz. I need to fill a buzz from my Tylenol PM or Benadryl or whatever. And we were just talking about how some people handle things in life more because, like, they probably, like, smoke weed and stuff. And I'm like, that is so true. I don't have any vices, like... My vice is all spending money. <laughs> the only vice I have is spending money. Like, if I'm feeling like I'm just not myself or something like that, I'd be like, I need to go shopping. I need to get out the house. I need to do this. And that'll help me. Like, it's therapeutic for me. Like, today, I had Jenna. She came over Thursday. Today is Saturday. And I was planning on her being with me, chilling, Cause she makes me laugh but her mom had wanted her to come home because they were doing something in their family so my son took her home and i was like oh my gosh i really did not want her to go home because i was like i'm going to take her out to this little jumping thing she like and just have fun with her to like fill my day up or whatever and then treasure's not here treasure's at my mom's house so i'm like oh my gosh i just wish treasure would come home because she gonna when Trasha get here she plays so much y'all don't see that side of her but she plays so much and she she is a huge distraction from my sadness because she just gonna come in here talking to me about any and everything but let me know down in the comments do y'all think like a lot of people deal with stuff better if they have like if they like smoke marijuana or if they do things to cover their sadness with like addiction and stuff like that or let me know how do you cope when you are in like times of severe sadness like what are some of the things that you do to help you get through all of that but let me finish getting to this bit let me finish because i'm trying to be done this stuff y'all Oh my gosh, y'all, it's cricket. 
Maybe if I lean like this, it won't show. Cause I'm not getting makeup. But um, not me still got my head leaned over. See, this is crazy. So like when Jenna is here, yo, I don't even clean up. Like she got, she'll have like so much stuff all over this table. And I'll be like, yo, my husband said the other night he came down here <coughs> and it was three, three uneaten brown apples lined up on the table. I was cracking up. She just like, she'll just go in the refrigerator and she just get whatever she want. Like that's why I try not to have like too much junk food so that when she is eating stuff, it's like kind of healthy. And like, if I want to get her a piece of candy or something like that, that's the time that I'll get it, like if we walk to the store. But other than that, I don't really like buy candy and stuff. I'll buy like some chips or whatever. But yeah, she just be doing the most when she in here. So I just, I don't be feeling like, you know, I try to make her clean up after herself. And she does for the most part, but this table is just like always, always like extra hand printish. Like always extra hand printish. So I'm like, let me just wait until she go home. But I ain't expect for her to go home today, like I said. But I feel like I'm almost done because I'm not doing the most. I'm doing the bare, bare minimum, the very bare minimum or whatever. So I need to back mop because y'all know I gave my mom my mop. <laughs> and she is so happy about that mop, y'all. She um told Treasure on Thanksgiving to tell me that she loves her mop. And she said it actually makes her feel like she want to mop more often instead of having to like wring it out. She said it's easier for her using that mop. So I'm happy about that, but now I just have to um, back mop, I'm gonna clean the mirror, back mop, and then I just got my laundry that I'm gonna be um, folding. I did just do the bathroom. I wonder if can y'all see me. Let me talk to y'all. Oh my gosh, Tootie just scared the mess out of me, y'all. So I did just do the bathroom. I did that off camera because y'all know, y'all know that I um I normally clean my bathroom every day because we share a bathroom in this house. But y'all, I ain't clean the bathroom in oh, I'm gonna say like three days. So it was just a little too pissy to do on camera. But I did that already. Wiped everything down. I'm going to clean this mirror and back mop the floor and then I think I'm going to be done and just probably try to find something to do to chill for the rest of the day. I might go live because I told y'all, y'all give me energy, happiness, peace, love, and joy. I made that up. I water bottle ever since I were I worked at Holy Redeemer and that's been about I stopped working like six years ago but I had it even before I stopped working and I just pulled it out last night because my stomach was hurting and I don't know why I do this to myself but I'll neglect my water intake and then I'll start feeling like all these like gas pains and constipation and stuff like that so I was like, you know what? I'm going to pour this thing out and I'm going to do like three cups of water. Three of these a day, at least until I can do more. But y'all, when I tell you it worked, I was able to go to the bathroom and I felt so much better. I was like, oh my gosh, why do I do this to myself? 
Like, why? So, my back mop, I'm just filling the canister up. This is the clean water canister. So, I'm just filling this up. And I do have the solution that goes to it. But what I do is I just add a little tiny drop of dish soap. And you don't want to put too much because it'll be like too soapy. And this is my second vac mop from these people. So the first vac mop that I had, I was vacuuming up. Like I, I put oil on my carpet and I was vacuuming it up. And I put baking soda on the carpet and I was vacuuming it up. And I think I had put some oil in here one time because I had brought a rug from out of the backyard and the cats had peed on it. So I was trying to get the smell up and I broke the vac mop, y'all. It broke. So with this shark vac, they sent me out a new one because I, I guess anyone who buys a shark vac is it's under warranty for I don't know how many years. I want to say one to three years, anywhere between there. So they sent me out a new one, but I do have the solution, but you can use the vac mop with like a little bit of dish soap. Just don't put too much in there and don't put like no oils or, you know, don't go overboard. So I found that it's been effective with just like one little pump of the dish soap or whatever. Cause that solution be high y'all. self-cleaning feature so you just put it on the base right there and you um you just hit the power button and it'll start cleaning <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tootie, please leave me alone, y'all. So, uh, excuse you, move. Oh my gosh, move, Tootie. Y'all, she is hungry. And can you move from in front of my camera? <sighs> she hungry, but I'm not going out. So I'm just not going to eat until... I'm not going to eat until... My husband come in here with some food for her because I don't think it's fair to do that. And we normally buy like big bags of cat food, but we only brought a small bag and it went so fast. But she she's hungry. She eats like four or five times a day. So I don't know why she's like over dramatic, but I get it. When you hungry, you hungry. So after the vacuum stops, y'all, this is what you'll see. You want to make sure that you empty this. 
because if you don't empty this it will smell like a rotten egg it will smell like a rotten egg and what's in here is like a lot of hair and debris that you know you picked up off the floor so yeah i always empty this out and when i forget i always regret it but i feel like is it really self-cleaning if i really still gotta empty the water out like i don't know is that self-cleaning girl y'all I, um, I, listen, first of all, I had this thing soaking in this wood, <laughs> this pickle jar soaking for about five days now. I'm going to empty this out and just throw it away because I was, oh, and it still smells so strong like pickles. I was going to save it and use it as like a mason jar, but I don't, like, come on, I ain't got to be doing it. Like, if I want a mason jar, I'll just... No, I'm going to keep it. Should I keep it? No. I'm going to throw it away. I'm going to throw it away. But one thing about our house is that... Y'all, my lips are so dry. That's the thing, too. Like... I don't want to neglect myself. But I feel like our house pretty much, like, one room that doesn't really get too dirty is the kitchen. And y'all know why. Y'all know why the kitchen don't be dirty. It's because little sis, little sis don't be in here like that. So I don't really have to do nothing in here. Oh my gosh. Trudy, she, it's like she won't let me forget that she's hungry. So I'm gonna just wipe the countertops down. I just vacuum, vacuum up the floor. So I don't really have to do too much in here. But I feel like I'm almost done. And I'm trying to think about what am I gonna watch today. I don't know if I'm strong enough to watch a Christmas movie right now. I don't know, because I feel like it's gonna be too heavy. So I'm thinking I might watch Scandu. Cause I started watching Scandu and I feel like I'm on like episode four, but it's hard for me to watch it sometimes because when my husband come in, he be hogging it all on TV. So I feel like I could watch it. It's 3.51 now. I feel like if I watch Scandu for like two hours and just fold the clothes and stuff like that, and then when he comes in, I can eat because he'll bring Tootie some cat food and trouble. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm making so much progress and I'm feeling so much better. It's crazy because I feel like if I were to ever go back to work or do something like job related, I always say I wanted to have a... um a cleaning company or something like that but i feel like it would be more geared towards like um what you call it when you clean buildings i feel like it would be something like that because i feel like if i go to what is that noise i feel like if i go to people's houses i'm gonna be freaked out so i'm thinking about like if I were to do something, it would be like a, um, I think it's commercial, like commercial cleaning business or something like that. And cause cleaning is just so therapeutic for me, y'all. Like I just, I'm telling you every morning for the last three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So every morning for the last three days, I just been like crying every morning when I wake up or whatever. So I'm like, you know what? Let me just push myself to clean up and it has made me feel so much better. It's something about like wiping things down and seeing it go from dirty to clean. I feel like that's what my soul is doing right now. It's going from like hurting to healing. And I gotta keep reminding myself that the women in my life are so strong and I've never seen them fall under pressure. Like I've never seen them fall under pressure. Like. Me and my mom was just talking about how, like, with my grandma, when she passed away or whatever, she, um, 
they went in the kitchen and they started cooking breakfast for everybody. And it's just like, I just need five months of crap. All right, wait. I feel like I just need to pour from them. You know what I mean? I need to imitate their strength so that I can I can be the new generation of strongness. <laughs> like I need to be the new generation of strength. You know what I'm saying? That's that's how I'm going to look at my life like my my cousins and us we're the new generation and we just gotta be strong we have to be strong because one thing about them i know they face way more hardships than we face than we could imagine and they just did not fold under pressure that's that's gonna be my motto for now don't fold under pressure like i'm gonna allow myself to feel what i feel but i gotta keep it pushing and i gotta keep it moving you know what i mean like that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm, well, I'm going to try to do, y'all. I'm going to try to do. So, I, like I said, I don't really have too much to do in this kitchen. I'm about to refill my water bottle. And I'm going to wait for my laundry to stop and watch Scandal. Or whatever. So, y'all, I just paused the show. So I wanted to come up here and fold the laundry. I, I feel like if you fold the laundry in a place that like close to the place where the laundry is going to be stored away that makes it easier for you opposed to like if i'm sitting downstairs and it's in a basket or something like that i'm gonna have to like i feel like i want to leave it in that basket so bad so i just was like let me just come up here and fold this stuff up or whatever but i was watching the show and all along, and I watched it before. That's why sometimes when you rewatch shows, you'll get like a different perspective of it or whatever. So I'm re I'm rewatching Scandal, and my husband he done started rewatching Snowfall. But I rewatch Scandal when I'm a, when I'm by myself, and he rewatch Snowfall when I'm in here with him. And I be like, I don't know. I just feel like when you rewatch a show. You should do that on your own time. But I don't I don't say nothing. I don't say nothing. But anyway, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking that early on the affair was private, but the wife was like, she did something crazy, y'all. I don't know. If y'all ever watched Scandal before, you probably forgot about it too, but I don't know. She was he couldn't sleep and she was like, Yeah, I um I called her over here and I was like, oh my gosh. So now that it's like, I'm getting back to it. I don't even think that that wife was ever like even in love with the the president. I don't know. I might have to get more into it or whatever. But I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. How she just called her to their event because she felt like he wasn't sleeping and that she would be the reason why he would go to sleep. Oh my gosh, y'all. So I'm sitting here and I'm cranking up because I'm sitting here and I'm cranking up because I'm like, I really need to show these people that I watch this because every time when I tell you every time I go live, I have this on and I be like, oh my gosh, the crazy part about it is that the crazy part about it is that I have um a lot of prayer garments, but that's my favorite one. So I be just having that one on all the time because I like that one better. But I'm like, let me show them that I be watching. I watch that. So what I do, y'all, I told y'all before, I don't put my overgarments in the dryer. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I hang them bad boys up. And it just, I feel like when I put them on, it just makes, like, it smells so good when I put them on. And it makes my bedroom smell so good, like, the first day that I wash them. But I started, like, not, I started not um drying them because, oh my gosh, that light. I started not drying them because 
I was scared that they would shrink when I wasn't like real familiar how different fabrics work. But I just think it smells so good when I put my overgarments on. It still smells like fresh, fresh soap powder. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired, y'all. I got two more. I have one load in the dryer and one load in the washer. And then I'm going to be done everything. I'm so happy that I was able to get all of this stuff done. And just like push myself a little bit. <sighs> Cause I don't know, I don't know what's what's going on, but um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. My mom keeps saying that too on the phone. She's like, I don't know, I don't know. Like she don't know. I don't know either, lady. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But oh my gosh, y'all. Can I just tell y'all that? The fact that I'm able to come on here and be like this with y'all, I feel like I hope that I'm not being annoying to y'all. And I hope that y'all know that I'm not the type of person that can like fake a lifestyle. I've never been that type of person to fake a lifestyle. Like normally when I'm feeling like things are going super bad or whatever i'll just get ghosts and like i said i just didn't want to do that this time so i normally don't like post struggles or whatever like on instagram or nothing like that because when i'm super sad i just won't i'll deactivate my page i just won't be on it but i feel like with youtube you know the community is a little bit different and i'm here for a different purpose i'm not here to you know, try to come across as something that I'm not. I'm just here to be myself and to give strength to ladies out here who may be going through or facing some of the struggles that I'm going through. And it could be of any age, you know, it could be of any age, even younger girls. They could learn a lot from us women that's going through these things. Just like I learned a lot from my mom and her sisters, you know. We all, we all need to see real stuff on YouTube too. Like all of the glitz and glamour and the cute stuff. That's cute, but I don't know. I honestly don't even draw to that type of stuff. Like I like more relatable content or whatever. But like I said, I hope I'm not burning y'all out or just like being annoying in this vlog. Cause I'm just going with the flow. I'm honestly, I'm just going with the flow. Like, I don't know at any given moment when I'm going to feel like laughing or at any given moment if I feel like crying or something like that. You know what I mean? So the next vlog, you might see me and I'm probably going to be happy again, depending on what headspace I'm in. I might just be happy and I've made peace with things that are going on. You never know. But I didn't want to just not post because of that. I actually feel like I need to be trying to find me a strength. But when I went to talk to a psychiatrist um, years ago, I didn't like the experience. I don't know. It was just like I sat on the chair. I said all the stuff that I was going through. And they just like nodded. They didn't give me like any advice or nothing like that. And I was like, oh, I need somebody to tell me what to do. So I didn't like the experiences of talking to psychiatrists, the two that I did talk to, but maybe it will work for you. I see a lot of people doing online therapy as well. So never feel like you can't reach out to someone and just, you know, for the most part, for the most part, talking to someone is more of an outlet you know what I mean and I didn't know that at the time that talking is more of an outlet it's not about um what someone can tell you to do or tell you how to move or to deal with this situation or that situation it's more of an outlet for you to get it off your chest so it's like I feel like I'm doing that right now through YouTube like I said I couldn't just, <laughs> I know I needed to do my video for tomorrow because I'm trying to post every Sunday and Wednesday. So I know I needed to do my video for tomorrow. And it was like, I just didn't know how to start it off in the beginning because when I woke up this morning, that was exactly how I was feeling. So I was like, let me just start it off with how I'm feeling. That's, that was the best thing that I could do. Yes. Number one, Jenna said, number one, Jenna said, Hey mom, she said, "Mom, hey mom, for real, for real, that's not dirt. That's not dirt, mom." Oh, about the gummy. Yeah. 
Y'all, this is the highlight of my day. I'm getting ready to eat. Probably just came in with Panda Express. And I'm gonna... What kind of chicken is this? Hmm? What kind of chicken is this? I don't think I'm gonna eat this. What is this? It's spicy? No, that's, um... That's, um... What's the name of chicken? It's like some general toast chicken or something. Yeah. Orange but, chicken. Orange chicken, okay. But, um, I'm going to eat the food that my son brought home, too. We got the tacos and the chicken wings. And this is the Panda Express. So, so hmm? What can I talk? One of them got shrimp and then the other one's got chicken. So y'all, I think I'm getting ready to close this vlog out. I'm tired. I'm eat my food. Take my towel and all PM and get in the shower. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope I gave you some beneficial reminders in this vlog. And until the next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.